What's up, everybody? Go Burns with Take Two News regarding Red Dead Redemption 2. Take Two CEO Zelnick talks competition with Grand Theft Auto Online, marketing support, and more. Quote unquote, obviously, we're incredibly excited about the title. This is from GameSpot, and the article is linked below in the description section. If you want to check it out yourself, and, uh, you know, when I think of competition between, say, Red Dead Online versus Grand Theft Auto Online, this is what comes to mind. <laughs> One day I'm going to get better at Photoshop, but not today, right? <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so during an earnings call, I think this was yesterday, Take Two Management filled in multiple questions about Red Dead Redemption 2. CEO Strauss Zelnick mostly dodged them, saying, as he basically does, that you should expect announcements about Rockstar Games to come from the label itself. He did confirm a few things, however. Zelnick said 2010's Red Dead Redemption shipped 8.5 million copies in the first year, and in 2010, that was really good. And it eventually went up to apparently uh, 15 million. He declined to share the specific unit sales prediction for Red Dead Redemption 2. However, he said he's excited that the potential for the game to sell well and for its online mode to drive further engagement and revenue down the road. Quote unquote, obviously we're incredibly excited about the title, not just Red Dead Redemption 2, but also the online offering to come, Zelnick said. So Rockstar will talk more about the title, but obviously there's great anticipation both on the part of ourselves and consumers. Zelnick also briefly discussed the marketing support that Take-Two will give Red Dead Redemption 2. Quote unquote, we support all of our releases very significantly. We're incredibly proud of our marketing teams throughout the company and our support is quite significant for all our releases. I think you should expect to see with regard to all our releases, very significant marketing support. Zelnick explained, last year, one analyst firm projected that Red Dead Redemption 2 will sell at least 15 million units. Also during the call, Zelnick was asked what he thinks about the potential for Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Redemption 2's online mode to potentially compete for players. And that's the big question. Will Red Dead Online be going head to head against Grand Theft Auto Online in the fall of 2017, hopefully when it comes out. Quote unquote, I'm fond of saying entertainment is an unusual animal in that entertainment properties don't really compete with other entertainment properties. You never need entertainment. Entertainment is something that you want to have, but it's not a need to have. If nothing in the market appeals to you at some time, there's no reason to go and get it. And if multiple things appeal to you, avid consumers will consume all of those things. I kind of disagree with Zelnick. So if you had like two like really exciting movies coming out on the same weekend, which usually doesn't happen, chances are there could be only one. They're not going to get the exact number of uh, ticket sales. It's not going to be, okay, movie A got 50 million and movie B also got 50 million. Usually it's a Highlander rules. You know, the, the top movie which is a form of entertainment, by the way, will end up besting everybody else that goes up against it at the same time. So if it's like uh, Star Wars versus, say, uh, Star Trek Beyond, even though Star Trek Beyond was a very good movie, I enjoyed it, Star Wars is still like a monster compared to Star Trek these days. So if you put, uh, say, Rogue One up against Star Trek Beyond, you can only imagine who would have won that fight if they had the same release during the uh, opening weekend. Once again, it is a form of entertainment. Not needed, but obviously you would see one movie get more sales than the other. The same thing, in my opinion, will go regarding Red Dead Redemption 2 versus Grand Theft Auto Online. Quote, unquote, so I don't think there's any competitive dynamic with any of our upcoming releases, apart from the fact that our success is driven by quality. So I think the success of Red Dead Redemption 2, which is highly anticipated, will be driven by its quality, and I think the ongoing success of Grand Theft Auto Online is driven by its extraordinary quality. So do I think that if Rockstar continues to support uh, content for Grand Theft Auto Online, will Red Dead Redemption or Red Dead Online, whatever they're going to call it, is it going to kill Grand Theft Auto Online? No, I don't think it will. But I do think you're going to see a number of players go from Grand Theft Auto Online over to Red Dead Online, especially since it's going to be the new 
thing. It's going to be the new to do because eventually with movies like Star Wars Rogue One, another big movie comes out a few weeks or a month later and eventually takes the crown. And I think that's what's going to happen this fall. That's just my opinion. I believe that Red Dead Redemption 2 is going to come out along with Red Dead Online. And you're going to see a flux of a lot of Grand Theft Auto Online fans going and checking out Red Dead Online. Now, the question is, how many of them are going to stay over there in Red Dead Online and how many are going to come back to Grand Theft Auto Online whenever the next update comes out after, you know, sometime regarding the launch of Red Dead Redemption 2? And how many will just go back and forth like me? Because that's my plan. I'm going to go back and forth, continue to cover Grand Theft Auto Online, as well as Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online. So I'm going to play the field because I love both IPs. I love both franchises equally. But a lot of people may be forced to pick one. There's already a lot of people out there that say, no, nope, I'm sticking with Grand Theft Auto. Red Dead might be a good game, but it really doesn't interest me. And vice versa. There's a lot of Red Dead fans out there that have no interest in GTA. So it'll be fascinating to see what's going to happen this fall when Red Dead Redemption launches on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Let me know below in the comments section, what do you think about this? Do you believe that Red Dead Redemption Online or Red Dead Online or whatever it's going to be called will in fact be competition for Grand Theft Auto Online? Because obviously they're both going to be ran and built by Rockstar. So they're probably going to have similar uh, models, formulas for uh, how they function, along with uh, upgrading, ranking up, as well as obviously transactions via shark cards or whatever they're going to call it in Red Dead Online, shark bucks, shark bars, whatever. Do you think that there's going to be some competition or will there be no competition and people will just enjoy playing Red Dead Online as well as Grand Theft Auto Online and we'll all live in this wonderful open world utopia? Or is there going to be some hate? Is there going to be a little like a rivalry between Red Dead Online and Grand Theft Auto Online? Either way, it's going to be very fascinating. Let me know your thoughts below in the comments section. And like I said, I'm going to continue covering anything related to Grand Theft Auto Online as well as Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online because I love Rockstar and obviously I love open world games. And I'm just as excited for the new Red Dead game as I am for new content for Grand Theft Auto Online. So that's not going to change on the channel in case any of my subscribers were wondering. I'm going to continue to cover all the content that I cover like Grand Theft Auto Online, Mafia 3, the expansions coming out this year, as well as Red Dead Redemption 2, hopefully coming sometime this fall, along with Red Dead Online.